Numerical Methods Problem 8.30 The resistivity rho of doped silicone is based on the chain charge Q on an electron. The electron density N and the electron mobility U, the electron, the electron density N, and the intrinsic carrier density Ni. The electron mobility is described by the temperature T, the reference temperature T sub zero, and the reference mobility U sub zero. The equations required to compute the res resistivity are N equals half times N plus square root of N squared plus four times N sub I squared. Mu equals mu sub zero times T over T sub zero to negative 2.42. P equals one over Q times N times mu. Determine N given T sub zero equals 300 K, T equals 1000 K, and U sub zero equals 1350 centimeters squared. Vs to negative 1 Q equals 1 1.7 times 10 to the negative 19th C N sub I equals 6.21 times 10 to the 9th CM to the negative 3rd and a desired P equals 6.5 times 10 to the 6th Vs CM meters per C use A bisection and B modified secant method. So here are all our variables given to us by the problem. Down here are the equations given to us by the problem. Modified so slightly to deal with our ranges of big N, which is 10 to the 9th times 1 to 15 here make an anonymous function for n using big N for our big N's in the equation and we pass this n to this equation passing with it the n's that we put into our original n equation. Also, for equation P, we subtract off our desired P, or desired rho, that was given to us by our equation, which is 6.5 times 10 to the 6, Then we simply plot up the equation. Down here we have our modified secant method with our original guess very close to our zero that we're looking for at 9.236 times 10 to the ninth is our guess. And here's our modified secant equation. Modified secant update. And our loop for our equation. And it is plotted out in red dots or red stars. Following that, problem also asks for the bisection method. So here we have our bisection method and all its parameters below that we need to check for. And then we plot that up in green. So let's run it up. In blue is our equation for row. 
and in green, and in red, which is being covered by the green, is our approximation to our zero, or our solution for this problem, which, or our big N that we are looking for. And what we are looking for turns out to be 9.2275 e to the 0 0.009 or in other words 9.2275 10 to the 9th and we can check that by putting it back into our equation. So we can put it in there and we get zero just as we expected and the NX is coming from our modified secant method. Now you gotta check our bisection method which gives us the same result or very close to the same result and it gives us approximately zero. So the result and the answer to problem 8.30 is 9.2275 10 to the ninth. And that's it for problem 8.30.